Twilight Manor roguelite FPS is really, 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 really fun. <laughs> it's a significant improvement over its predecessor, and the chaos is quite prevalent. Extreme violence. This time, you're looking through the lens of the hit girl boss main character, Girl. After receiving a note meant for Akiro, she uses her brain, this thing, located inside her head. There is nothing but violence. She gets slight character development and goes off to the manor under the guise of picking up her... Yeah, I'm not reading all that. She goes to this place and absolutely wipes out every resident inside, all while taking her time to tear into your brain with 90s anime lore and threats of genital mutilation. I am not joking about that last part. I'm just saying, if she were to do this to me, I wouldn't complain. Fuck! Oh yeah, right. First boss fight is a femboy, but we'll get into that later. First boss is a femboy? Come on, did you lose to these chumps? Fuck you! No, first enemy is a femboy. Or many, for that matter. There are also these flying drones. I hate them and wish their entire populace was reduced to nothing but worm food. Immediately, you'll notice that the art assets have received a significant upgrade. They're sharper, more detailed, and inferior since the railgun M1 Grand was removed. Okay, she moved way too fast, okay? I didn't know that I was fighting fucking spiders cracked up on a Rengekin Coke, okay? Holy shit! Also, the reload animations are absolutely cursed. I love them, especially the assault rifles reload animations. What? <laughs> Excuse the fuck me? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this bitch just fucking dumping the mag into the... Shotgun's also a notable one. Wait a minute. Is she fucking loading that into the barrel? Oh my god! One of the enemies that I fondly recall are the robotic spiders simply because they scared the hell out of me. Come on, I need to even try with that one. Ah! What the fuck is that? Holy shit! Did this motherfucker just spawn in enemies? Oh, hey. Holy shit! Ah! It's actual lyrics! Gameplay-wise, it's still kind of the same. The enemies are slightly more difficult and will provide a decent challenge for anyone that isn't a single-celled organism. Most notably is the parry mechanic. It is now a kick. You will punt the femboys and you will have fun doing so. Do it! <laughs> I think I just... I think I just killed him by throwing my gun at him. <laughs> be this time what in god's green earth holy shit it's a maid hi oh at the fight you don't I? you also parry attacks and if you do it well you'll knock back projectiles and receive no damage if you do it really well you'll cause this to happen wait i got this there we go okay so you really gotta time it Do it. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Not only does the building's architecture remain reminiscent of the cyberpunk genre, but it's also more fun to explore. You'll have various little rooms to explore, and although you won't get much inside of them, it's nice to have these little details to interact with. For something like ammo or just even a health pack, even if the room's all empty together, the detail's there and it's oh, nice to have. Sad. I especially like the level, where the game became that one level from near. It gave me memories of waking up in an alley after trying gas station hot dogs. Most do offer a theme, like the aquatic level, which is another one I enjoyed. Oh, cool! It's that last level for Metro 2033. By far, the biggest improvement are the bosses. They're complete bullet hells, and you'll actually have to try and dodge their attacks along with timing your parries so you can deal damage. You can no longer spam Q, only time those precious little parries. Alright, who we got this time? Oh my god, you're like the only one that isn't extremely anime. Wait, what the fuck? Hey! Randall the <laughs> How are you doing, dude? There are only two annoying aspects to these boss fights, however. One, whenever you defeat one, if you're clicking too fast, you'll be abruptly stopped by selecting a power-up in the power-up screen. Obviously, you will not know what you pick, forcing you to either continue with your actions or to reload the game and do the boss fight all over again. 
I, I couldn't, I, I didn't even get the seal. Second, the fucking decibel rating at the time of recording this, in regards to parries, is the most deafening shit I've ever heard in my life. Holy shit! Oh my god! It's not fair! I don't know what I picked! Fuck you! <laughs> I swear to the Lord above, with my left hand, not right, fuck you, on the Bible, that I am no longer human after hearing what I imagine to be the screams of the damned. Oh, right, abilities. They're pretty dope. I like them. They make the game fun. Fun is good. My favorites are the ability to skip the level, but we'll get into that later. Faster fire rate, more health, damage reduction, and the ability to spawn in an ally, but I'll get into that later as well. It sucks. Spoiler alert, I'm getting into it now, and it fucking sucks. It only poses a detriment to your performance via jump scares on just the most annoying audio known to man. Dude, this is so fun. Oh, I just killed him! <laughs> Each ability does offer a slight increment to the fun factor, so it's always a welcomed addition. Also, one of the abilities unlocks an alternate firing mode. I'll get into that later. Hold on. Ooh! Yes! Oh, 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 that is so fucking cool. Okay, wait, what's this one? What, oh, you just shoot all five shots at once? Oh, oh. That is so pointless, and I love it. Because the shotgun just one-shots anyway, so why would you shoot five times? I don't care, this is fucking cool. Quick side note, I really like the music for this second level. Hey! After being in the game, you'll see one of the thickest bitches alive. You did not have to draw her like that, but I'm okay with it. Dude, okay. No, 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 no. no. I'm, tell me I'm not the only one that just saw that ass. <laughs> Unlock hard mode, much like the previous game. Despite its title, it's far easier than the original game mode. Double the guns, double the fun. I also think the developer made her breasts bigger, and if you didn't start a new game, you can keep all your abilities from the previous run. This kind of makes the game a cakewalk. Not that I'm complaining, though, because it's fucking fun and awesome. Going through the second run, you'll see you're practically a god at this point. I am literally God! You can do nothing against me! When you finally beat hard mode, you'll unlock one-shot mode. That's why a hard one-shot mode was in Twilight Town, it is a complete fucking joke in Twilight Manor. You're the equivalent of one of Seth's finest flush terrors placed into an orphanage. Also, I found a bug regarding the alternate fire modes. See, here's the thing, right? Since you have two guns, you can't reload, and for some reason, this allows you to fire your alt fires regardless of your ammo pool. Meaning, yes, you can spam the ever-living hell out of the shotguns, firing ten shells at once, and in return, lowering your frame rate to a noticeable lag. Instead, tested this out on the assault rifle, and holy fuck, does this thing fuck. In conclusion, this game may have some design flaws, but they're not game-breaking in a negative sense. Twilight Manor is a hefty step up from its predecessor, and I completely recommend it. It only took me an hour and a half to beat all three modes, and like last time, I didn't refund it. Don't be a bitch. Don't fucking refund it. Play the game. Enjoy your product. Consumerism is good. Do not believe the government. I plan on playing this in my off time as well so my hour count will probably go up. If you made it this far, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you choose to stay. Feel free to share, drop a like, sub, you know, all that good stuff that people typically say. All that being said, peace out, and have a good day.